Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here at this luncheon. For those of you who don't know Bombardier that well, we are known uh, in many ways in the world by many names. Uh, you know us as Learjet, Challenger, Global. We've been known as Canadair, De Havilland, Short Brothers. In France, we're famous for our iconic Bombardier 415 bomber known simply as the Canadair. We are trains, subways, trams, the Q400 turboprop, CRJs, and this new C-Series commercial aircraft. A little bit about our history. In the early 1940s, our founder, Joseph Armand Bombardier, experienced a tragedy in his family. His son was very sick with fever in the remote snowbound area of Valcour, Quebec. Sadly, they were unable to get him to a hospital in time because of the snow, and his son died. This tragic event was what drove Mr. Bombardier to invent the first snowmobile, so it would never happen again. The first of countless innovations to be developed by his company over the next seven decades, all with a focus on mobility. We are a Canadian company by origin, as Canada is a country which has brought together many different cultures to form one great nation. Bombardier is a company born of the inventive genius of one man with mobility need that has grown over the past 70 years through acquisitions and expansions to become a global leader in transportation by incorporating the talent and vision of thousands of other great men and women worldwide. We are the world leader in rail and the world's third largest civil aircraft manufacturer. And I should note, with a friendly nudge to some of my friends that are here in the audience that we're number one in business jets. And I didn't say it, it was Gamma that said it. We are Canadian, American, Mexican, European, North African. Basically, we're a global company. Is everything okay? Okay. I got a little bit worried there. I do it in front of everybody. Sorry. Thank you. Our success story in business aircraft is very, a very important one to us, which we're fiercely proud of. Although most of what you read about us today is focused on our C-Series aircraft, which will be flying in just a few weeks, it's the first 100% new commercial aircraft in the 100-149 seat segment, which is certain to be a game changer. But this week, in the electric atmosphere of eBase, I'm uh, beaming with pride for our business jets. And I also feel very confident, confident about our industry as a whole, in spite of the environment that we're living in right now. Business aviation has grown from that iconic image of the first Learjet taking off 50 years ago in Wichita, 50 years this year, defining the jet set to a worldwide fleet of 19,000 Gulf Streams, Dassault's, Hawkers, Cessnas, Embraer's, and a sizable percentage of Bombardier as well changing the way people do business and helping strengthen and expand the reach of the global business community. When we think about eBase, typically we have visions of sales meetings, flashy product launches, have you seen the 350 that we just introduced by the way, <laughs> and a few champagne cocktails for good measure. Our sales guys are fighting it out on the static displays to win contracts, our design and marketing people are in heated competition on the show floor over who has the newest, the coolest, the most advanced and most luxurious product. But here, in lunches and meetings like this one today, our leadership and our policy people are building relationships and working together to make commitments and changes that will strengthen our industry, ensuring we're here to compete against next year and for many years to come. So what should our focus be today? We all know what the challenges are in this industry. Some things are beyond our control, like the economy, but where can we have an impact? At Bombardier, we're focusing on three strategic levers, which we know are having an impact, not only at Bombardier, but we believe also in the industry. The first one is innovation. We are creating market-leading, more efficient, environmentally conscious aircraft 
aircraft that provide the travel solutions our customers need or are asking for. Many people are surprised when I tell them that in spite of the economic downturn, Bombardier is in active development of eight new planes at this time. Eight new planes. That's a load right now, by the way. We've always prided ourselves on two things when it comes to new product development. First, identifying market niches that are underserved, and second, actively listening to our customers' wants and needs. Both of these elements were central to the development of the current Challenger 300, the Challenger 300 business jet, which has become one of our most successful business aircraft programs to date, with close to 400 aircraft in service today. The Challenger 350 was just a natural evolution of a very successful platform. This newest member of the Challenger family redefines interior design standards and comfort levels with ground cabin, groundbreaking cabin aesthetics and ergonomics, larger windows, a customized cabin management system, a constant flat floor, and unrestricted baggage access, all in the widest cabin amongst the supersized, mid-sized aircraft. The Challenger 350 will deliver uncompromised performance outstanding full load range capability of 3,200 nautical miles, available steep approach capacity to fly out of airports like London City, and the fastest time to climb in the business aviation. It will be a model of efficiency and reliability, providing the lowest direct operating cost among competitive aircrafts, ultimately in the industry's best value proposition. I know I may sound a little bit upbeat and bragging a little bit about the aircraft, but I think you can tell I'm very excited about this launch and we're very happy to have our launch customer here in this meeting, NetJets. Thank you, Chuck. Add to that the Learjet 85, the Learjet 7075, the Global 7000, 8000, of course, the family of C-Series aircraft. And we believe that at Bombardier, it's doing more than its fair share to contribute to developing new technologies for our industry. We see, we see investment in innovation as a license to grow, a license to grow in this industry. We, the aviation industry, including business aviation, have committed to reduce our carbon footprint by 50% by 2050. This environmental promise is crucial if we are to be taken seriously as good corporate citizens. We can only achieve this goal by developing aircraft that are more fuel efficient, Take, for example, our Global 7000 and 8000, which will offer 14% and 18% reduction in fuel burn, respectively, as they compare to the existing global jets. We must also maintain our focus on the life cycle approach to aircraft design and design for environmental principles, which we have done in all our new programs. Innovation also contributes to our license to grow by combating the perception problems still prevalent about our industry. In many ways, the business part of business aviation is still not recognized in our industry and across the world. By designing aircraft that are tailored to the business needs of today's corporations, businessmen, and high net worth individuals, we are reinforcing the image of a business jet as just that, a business tool is through innovation, connecting people and facilitating trade with the most innovative, high performance and fuel efficient products that will ultimately earn our license to grow. The second lever is growing an international presence, an international footprint. In order for business aviation to grow, we need to first open new markets by working with the governments and regulatory bodies to develop infrastructure and business for business aviation to be successful on a worldwide basis. This also means making sure our current and potential customers have access to the in-service support they need in their own time zones. In the past year, we at Bombardier have expanded our service and support network from 98 touch points in 2011 to 112 in 2012 and with a projected 124 points of entry in 2013. In fact, our European operations for customer services are a key component of our international growth. Within the past year, our customer services team has converted our Frankfurt Parts Depot to a full-service hub and expanded our Dubai-based Parts Depot. 
We opened a business aircraft focused regional service office in Farnborough, UK, announced expanded local pilot trainings through our authorized training partnerships, and continued to drive greater volume and capability at our wholly owned service center in Amsterdam. A few months ago, we took another step to deepen our local roots. We appointed regionally focused customer support directors to place senior leadership closer to commercial and business aircraft customers' bases of operations. Our teams and infrastructures work together with more than a dozen authorized service facilities in the European region, including two recent additions, Harrods Aviation in Luton, UK, and Tupar Technique of Kazan, Russia, who also serves our CRJ customers. Worldwide, we now have more than 60 authorized service facilities for business and commercial aircraft, 14 regional support offices, nine Bombardier-owned service centers in North America and Europe, with a new facility for business aircraft support opening later this year in Singapore, with a single promise to put our customers first. But international growth should not be limited to sales and support. To truly have an impact in the emerging markets, we as a community need to foster their drive to become industry players in their own right. Last year, Bombardier signed an MOU with the government of Morocco to establish a manufacturing facility in Casablanca. We began partnership and production in a temporary facility earlier this year and are constructing our own factory this year to be opened up later this year. With its proximity to Europe, it is strategically located to serve as a supplier to our European operations, but is also very strategic for us in that it opens a door to Africa, which we know will soon be a huge market. And we are confident our establishment in Morocco will act as a catalyst for growth in the aviation industry in that region. Seven years ago, we established our first greenfield manufacturing facility in Querétaro, Mexico which today is responsible for the manufacture of major components for our Learjet and global aircraft, amongst other parts. Querétaro has quickly developed into a thriving aerospace cluster with many suppliers you know, surrounding us in our assembly site. We know our investment in these developing aviation markets is making an impact, and it's evident through the quality of work that is now being produced in our Mexican facility. At Bombardier, we have annual accomplishment awards where teams from across the organization submit projects that they have completed, which usually have a positive impact, it's usually financial, but also in terms of productivity or employee engagement. These are projects undertaken by the employees, not top-down initiatives. I was thrilled to present one of those awards this year to a team from Mexico, the Mexico site, whose project focused on finding efficiencies to accelerate production. They did this in a record time, well below budget with a world-class level of quality and productivity. What's more, we were so impressed by the success of the project that we actually asked the representatives of that team, which were 250 people, to come from Mexico to share their best practice with teams in much older plants, much more mature plants in Canada and the US. That's a great success for a very young site. This segs very well into the third, and I would argue probably the most important strategic lever and that is a dedication to achieving, achieving flawless execution. When I joined the company five years ago, Bombardier was in the early stages of a cultural transformation. Being an organization that was formed through the acquisition of several different companies, there was a vast difference in the way we were building aircraft, parts, systems from one site to the other. We weren't always efficient. We certainly weren't aligned. The industry had been booming for a few years and we were just coming into the downturn. So the impact of our bottom line was less evident at that time. But we had already begun to understand that as the market slowed, our lack of internal alignment in standardization and efficiency would only make matters worse. We adopted a lean enterprise approach called achieving excellence based on the lean practices of other industries like the automotive industry and a commitment to employee engagement to change the program and the change the program affected was massive on our business. I'm not afraid to tell you that it wasn't easy and the transformation continues, but the results are phenomenal for us. We now have an employee culture focused on the same goals 
speaking the same language of safety, quality, productivity, human development, and cost, and especially focused on customers. When you walk through the doors of a Momodia plant or office, whether it's in Montreal, Toronto, Belfast, Wichita, Queretaro, or Casablanca, or one of our nine service centers worldwide, there is little difference, if any, in the high levels of quality and efficiency in how we do things. And when you meet a Bombardier employee anywhere in the world, they will know what you're talking about when you say achieving excellent system. It is our culture, it is what drives our people to deliver the best product and the best experience to every single customer. That's the how, how we think, how we work, how we innovate, how we enable our people to truly understand their contribution to the success of our business, our industry, and our customers. This approach has reinforced an already existing sense of passion, pride, and dedication in everything we do at Bombardier. And I know everyone in this room also shares that passion for the industry. I opened my speech today by explaining how Bombardier has transformed and evolved over the past 70 years. From one snowmobile in Valco, Quebec, to 31 new aircraft programs, 36,000 employees at Bombardier Aerospace in plants, service centers and offices in more than 24 countries. So what is Bombardier's vision for the next 70 years? Bombardier will be known as the company that opened doors to new markets, that fought hard to make the industry safer through thought leadership and programs such as our pioneering safety, safety stand down seminars that we hold every year across many sites in the world. A company that used its innovative talents to develop technologies making the industry more environmentally conscious. A company that changed the way people move forward. I would be remiss to ignore the current context, but I want you to understand why I'm so confident that we can achieve all of that. Why I believe in the future of our industry. We are in the fifth year of a very difficult period for our industry going from industry deliveries uh, in the range of 900 back in 2008 to nearly half that in most recent years. In this context, it's not surprising to see consolidation, companies exiting the market, and big companies emerging as fewer and smaller players. There are challenges everywhere at all levels, supply chain, etc. But like Bombardier, the industry has used this opportunity to set the stage for an even more prosperous future. The industry has restructured, and as a result, we will be propelled towards growth again. I believe we're just on the cusp for business aviation. How do I know that? How do I know we are there? Because together, we are laying the groundwork to develop new markets. New regions around the world are discovering business aviation the way the North American and European markets did decades ago. As their economies develop, so does their need and appetite for business aviation. We are starting to see a clear shift in the willingness of governments to embrace business aviation. In China, we're seeing deregulation of airspace and airports being built, even infrastructure for business aircraft. In India, the government is reviewing the rules to import business aircraft. Just two examples of regions that are starting to understand that bringing business aviation to their countries will drive economic growth. They will emerge as business aviation friendly markets with the infrastructure, regulation and mindset to incorporate business jet travel into their economic successes. As established industry players, we need to do our part to keep this momentum going by bringing the best products to market, which in their design take into account the environmental and economic drivers in these regions. And, it just, and it's just not the manufacturers that play a role here. It's the service providers, operators, airports, and financial institutions. We need to encourage fleet operators like NetJets and VistaJet to continue to grow as well, offering business aviation solutions to these areas where companies don't necessarily have the expertise or the resources to run their own flight departments, but have the clear need for business jet travel. That's why we're here today. That's how we are ensuring the future of our industry together. In closing, I want to thank all of you today for the opportunity to share with you some of my thoughts 
and how we'll move forward from here. At Bombardier, our brand promise is the evolution of mobility. And the evolution of mobility is all about what's next. I look forward to shaping the future with you. Thank you very much.